what's going on guys welcome back to my channel um, thank you so much for all the love and support that everyone has showed thus far so let's continue to keep the subscriber count going up let's keep the likes up and let's start to get, uh, get some more comments uh, filtering through all right so that way we can keep making some more uh, great content for you guys so before we go um, touch base on our topic of the day, um, just go ahead and check out my skincare line if you haven't already. Um, we have a uh, daily moisturizer, all right? And then we have a cleanser. And then we also have a beard oil, all right, for the fellas. So go ahead and check that out. It is vegan-based products, all right? So go ahead and check it out. Uh, the link is gonna be in my description. So click the link and uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and get you some all right so we'll go ahead and um, cut to the chase and get right into the topic uh, for today today's topic would be about how to attract more women so how can you as a man attract more women in today's age day and era that we're living in so there's three main points that i want to touch on um, the first one is how we smell so how you smell can grab it can bring more women to you so um smelling good is key personal hygiene is key isn't it so personal hygiene is non-negotiable which means smelling good is non-negotiable now if you can't afford the big brand the big brands when it comes to colognes um that's fine if you can good but if you can't that's fine but it still doesn't matter because there's still enough colognes body washes deodorants on the market to where you should be smelling good all the time there's completely no reason to why we should be smelling bad um just like the uh, cliche is that a picture has a, is worth a thousand words, um, you can put smell in that same category, right? Because all you have to do is just pass by somebody, pass by a woman, pass by anyone. When they say, man, that guy smells really good, right? Or, if it's a, or even if it's a girl, you know, I've had girls pass me and then you smell, it's like, wow, you smell the perfume, it smells amazing. And automatically, you think good thoughts about that person. Like, man, they smell good. They, they must take care of themselves, right? So that's the first thing, um, guys. We have to make sure that when it comes to our personal hygiene, we are making sure we're smelling good at all times, right? So that's a non-negotiable thing that um, we have to keep and make sure that it's a part of our daily routines. Just like brushing your teeth, the same thing goes for deodorant and cologne and making sure we're smelling good all day, every day. Definitely, if you make, if you just make sure you, you, you don't even have to get, like I said, the highest paid, um, the highest brand colognes, right? It doesn't have to be a Gucci. It doesn't have to be all these expensive colognes. You can just get, you know, just the basic colognes and they all pretty much smell good even if you go to the mall there's some name brands that i don't even know that are pretty good in comparison to the big name brands all right so go ahead and make sure you get yourself a cologne it's good to have like at least two or three right in, in your arsenal and make sure that you're applying these colognes every single day that way instantly people will pass you people will know like man he smells good he ta definitely takes care of himself all right so that's the first uh key and first point that i wanted to point out today uh when it comes to how to attract more women when women see that you smell good right they're gonna want to get to know you they're gonna they're gonna be attracted to you without you even saying anything so that's always a good foundation of drawing more women to you the second point is taking care of our skin now as i mentioned in the before video um taking care of our skin isn't forte for us men so um a lot of men if you if you're 
brought up in a masculine way or over masculine way um you know back then it was like well if you're doing skincare then you're 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 looked at as being soft but that isn't the key right that isn't the case so basically skincare should be a priority just like smelling good should be a priority that all of that is a part of self-care right so a lot of guys uh even it seems like more younger guys are even looking older in my opinion uh these days and i think it's because of lack of self-care for sure and uh, of course the habits that they're indulging in on a daily basis but if you have good habits smelling good and skincare nine times out of ten you're going to continue to attract females and, and that's what you want to do so um skincare is definitely a priority when it comes to self-care so if you don't want premature wrinkles um if you're a person that's wor working outside maybe you're working construction maybe you're working long hours um the uv light is continuous right so uv exposure is never ending um i know a lot of people that even just walk um after they apply their moisturizers right and their cleansers they're also adding um the sunscreen right to protect themselves against the uh, uv exposure so guys and you don't have to be um extreme when it comes to this we're talking and that's why even on my skin carolina I, I do have just a simple cleanser right and also a moisturizer right and then some people are adding like i said the sunscreen to that arsenal so basically if you're doing those things when it comes to your skincare routine it's going to keep your skin looking right it's going to keep you with having that glow and again that's gonna attract more women to you all right you don't want to have a dry face you don't want to have a face that's just looks dry looks beat up that's never attractive all right so skincare is most important and definitely is a priority when it comes to self-care and attracting more women when you have when you take care of your skin people notice guys you may think that women don't but they definitely do they always recognize a man that takes care of himself very quick it's easy to spot for them versus a man that definitely doesn't have no regard for self-care all right so skincare and smelling good two top priorities the third point i wanted to bring out uh speaks about um the way we dress okay so i know there's some people that think that oh well in order to get the the kind of girls that i really like i'm gonna have to buy designer right and anyone that knows me i mean i do think designer is fly um in some cases but to me i've never been that person that's all about designer um and guys what you gotta know if, if you have confidence you understand that no matter what you wear you are the one that makes the clothes the clothes don't make you right so that's always been my mindset when it comes to clothes and i think everyone should have that mindset right it's not the clothes that make you it's you that make the clothes so we can start there make sure that there is a a, a mindset of confidence when picking and choosing how you're gonna go out right and it doesn't like i said it doesn't have to cost a million dollars doesn't have to cost thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars there's sent there's makes and models of clothes the same type of cuts that these high design designers are selling that you can buy at h&m that you can buy at stores like zara the same cut the same fit and close to the same material all right so you don't have to break the bank just to look good um another thing is just keep in mind that ironing your clothes super important i know this is basic one-on-one -on -one, but you'll be surprised at the guys that i do see walking around town and the clothes are not ironed right or on the flip side um i do see see guys that are still dressing they're way older up in years right in your 30s mid 20s and they're still dressing like they're 15 years old 
Guys, you gotta make sure that we step our game up when it comes to how we dress. You wanna dress in a professional way when going out and when you're speaking to women or if you're trying to court women that are upper in age, right? Cause it's a different bracket. All right, so those are just three quick points to keep in mind when it comes to um, our appearance, how we smell and our skincare. And those are the top three ways I think you'll be able to attract women these days that we're living. All right, so go ahead, subscribe, like, comment, let me know your thoughts on these points. I'll see you guys next time.